Hey, what's going on YouTube? Climb here, and thanks for joining me on another tips video. Man, has it been a while. Um, I have missed putting videos together for you, and I appreciate the continued support and harassment uh, for me to get some more videos out. Uh, so, but you know, sometimes life just kind of gets in the way, and I appreciate the patience. In today's video, I want to continue on this fantastic stream of, of tips because I want you to become a better player and highlight examples of what I feel are good gameplays for myself that I feel like I, I consistently do. All right, as you're able to see in the video title, we're going to talk about survivability. Okay, specifically like around the whole concept of fight or flight. Uh, fight or flight is the, I'm sure you know, but like it's the adrenal gland responds when stress happens okay it's your your biological uh predictor saying that like when you're in a stressful situation are you going to run towards it you're going to confront it or are you going to flee it okay and part of that though can go against your biology part of that can be behavioral all right and that's what we're going to be talking about here um is behavioral uh recapping okay it's what that it's just you know practice right but the way we change our behavior is through thought content. The thought content I want to impart upon you today uh, in this video is around the concept of my life is more important than getting a kill. Okay, so that's that's the framework we're going to be working with with, with this video. I'm going to do some um, some highlights of what I feel like are uh, exemplify in this video, uh, as well as I want to. At least I should probably introduce this this video. This is a DoD tournament that I was just in recently, and this is our very first game against DoD West Side Omega. And good game to these guys because um, they pulled it out right at the end with like 50 points. It was so frustratingly incredible um, on their part. So I hope you stick around and at least watch that. If you don't like me, just mute me. Watch them. It was a good good video. But what's interesting about this gameplay that I really think highlights this mentality and behavior of survivability is that you may notice there's a lot of down dead time where i'm not engaging with anybody like even there that guy got the first shot on me so i'm backing up i'm not necessarily engaging him directly or trying to re-engage him and same with him he wasn't trying to run and run in and finish me off all right so good play on him but that's the kind of mentality that's going to shift into our uh, our behavior that we're going to be working with all right and again, it all surrounds that my life is more important than killing somebody else. Because when you're so focused on killing somebody else, like that guy uh, previously when he had me pretty well hurt. I mean, I was half shield. Okay. Why didn't he push in? What um, part of it is maybe he just saw my teammates. He saw the radar. Just his momentum was shifting him. Um, his left, my right. Didn't feel, didn't feel comfortable. That's fine. But I was also... Could have just been because he made a really good and wise call. Because he valued his life more than trying to kill mine. Because sure, um, getting a kill feels good, right? And you feel like you want to help your team in that way. But part of staying alive is obviously not giving them points, but creating opportunities for you to re-engage someone. Now in this game, like I, I have the highest KD not only because I'm running away a lot, I'm repositioning a lot, but I also have the highest kills. Some of that definitely is gun skill, right? I mean, uh, I felt pretty good on a lot of my gun skill this game, especially some sweet snipes early on, as hopefully you had noticed. Uh, but part of that is just I'm trying to create opportunities for me to um, to get those kills, okay? I'm not overly pushing in with myself, uh, going beyond that barrier. I'm always falling back to my team. Because when you're trying to run away, when you're trying to reposition, um, it's going to be in different scenarios. Specifically when you feel like you're overwhelmed, like your radar just lighten up and you don't really know what to do. Because um, you don't really know when to engage, you don't know where they're coming from. You feel confused and that's, that's fine, right? The other part of that, or the other scenario of that, is when you're getting shot first. And you should always part of this mentality, right? Is uh, my life is more valuable than getting a kill. And if you, if someone has the first shot on you, or you're getting shot and you have no idea where, your objective is to run. Now it's not just running just for run's sake. It's running forward to an objective, and the objective is to come back to your team. 
Uh, I have a t previous tips video as far as like how to win threes, and part of that was I think I called it like your home base. Your team should be your home base. You should always be pushing with your team. You should always be falling back to your team. Like when you're weak, so that way not only do you are you able to maybe bait someone in and in and get the kill and kind of shift the momentum in your favor, uh, but it's also just to kind of get enough time to recover so that you can re-engage. All right, so you always should be falling back to your team, not necessarily just running away and then all of a sudden you're on the other side of the map, nowhere near your team to help clean up on kills, to help give you provide cover fire, all right? But you see here, my radar is just lighting up, and so I just, I'd run forward, I slide underneath, and then I just jump up and around, and then I'm back in, right? I'm back in pretty quickly. But because my radar is still, I'm still pretty confused on my radar, I had no idea where these guys were going. I threw a nade and ran out, I started getting hit first, and I made a poor decision in turning around and trying to challenge it. But my initial sense of running away, trying to reposition, was good. So that half was good. The follow through was less. But that's generally the, um, you know, the, again, the mentality is the basic mentality is that my life is more important than getting a kill. So that's what I want to stress uh, in this video. Uh, and I think highlights that because, again, there's a lot of dead space. Why is there dead space? It's not because I'm trying to always run away because I care so much about my KD. Again, I'm trying to create opportunities. See, in previous videos, or if you've ever played with me, there's always this ongoing joke where I'm stealing kills. And definitely some of that is true. Like, I'll be super aggressive, and I want to get that kill because it just makes me feel good, and I like my head being, you know, even more filled with ego. <laughs> but... Um, but beyond that is I've just tried to create opportunity in chaos. So like here, my team is upstairs. They're on B looking down towards C. So instead of all looking into their that C closet, that doorway where it's quite narrow and the other team has the upper hand, I try to shift underneath. So one, that creates an opportunity for me to potentially clean up a kill, like here, um, I shifted, I went back towards my team from underneath B, and then I shifted around to try to create opportunity. Okay. Oh, and as a side note here, the, uh, this is just hiding from a golden gun, in case you didn't hear it. So I was just kind of off in that corner. My teammates were calling out that it was still going. Um, so I thought that actually worked really well. It was a really good team play in, in getting those callouts. But here, right, I, the guy gets a sh first shot off on me. My health is low a little bit. Um, and I noticed that he had a super and I did not. So that's why I ran away immediately, turned around, threw a nade, because I thought, you know, if he, um, Overlord goes down, he'll get a little bit of damage on him. And sure enough, he actually traded. Uh, but I was able to recognize quickly enough to just flee, all right? Because I knew I was not going to win that engagement regardless. So again, I'm gonna reiterate this. The mentality that you want to go into every game that'll change your behavior is, um, and how you win is acknowledging that your life is more important than getting the kill. So like here, I know there's three tethered. I could see it. the orbs produced uh, by Overlord down below, and I knew I could get those guys down, but I was weak. I mean, I don't, if I die, that creates them the shift momentum and push into our guys, right? That means that instead of it being, um, two or three on onto that two or three it would have been three to two in their favor or three to one in their favor and completely shifts the momentum so even like you're when you're responding you always want to try to run back towards your team and that's not so much that you can group up together in the same spot so nova bomb or fist to have it comes and kills you but it's that you're creating opportunities to shift um elsewhere so you're just constantly moving back and forth and uh, part of this is using these other tips that we've talked about previously with leading with their grenade, using your cover, sliding underneath and over doorways, using that mobility, um, etc. So I hope this kind of helps understand one of the foundational things for me and how I like to play and how I win is recognizing that when I run away, it's not so much because I'm scared of dying because I care about KD, whatever. It's that I want to try to create opportunity with my teammates and repositioning. And that's how I get a lot of those cleanup kills. It's constantly moving. And if someone gets the first shot on me, I'm not going to try to be overly cocky unless I'm, unless I'm backed into a corner and I feel like I, <clears throat> I can't do anything else or, um, or I'm just being cocky in all honesty. Sometimes I just feel like it, um, 
say a person that I'm facing, say in trials, doesn't have the shots that I feel like they could kill me with. So I mean, I maybe I'll be overly um, challenging to that. So that's kind of a lot to say. Um, I'm sure, or at least I hope it makes sense. Certainly let me know if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, because I'd honestly love to hear them. Um, this gameplay, I think, again, highlights a lot of this mentality with running away, repositioning, waiting for opportunities because I created them. All right, I'm not trying to force them in the sense I'm um, overextending, but I'm trying to create them by moving, by causing that chaos, and again, going back to the talk of... Um, previously about mobility. Mobility helps kind of create those opportunities. Mobility combined with communication and sticking near your teammates so that way you can get that team fire. All right. So that's kind of my ending ending note. Um, I do hope you at least enjoy the gameplay. Hope you enjoyed the commentary. This was a really good game that I obviously played really well at. Um, I, I did enjoy playing in this tournament type uh, setting and man, G again, GG's to these guys because they pulled it out like, right at the last, like literally I think the last two seconds. It's absolutely phenomenal, so frustrating. Uh, so that's that. I appreciate the support and I will look forward to put, putting out more videos. And truly let me know if this helped. Nothing might happen. Cheers. Dude with the golden gun. Golden gun, there's a guy underneath. Nice. Wow. Oh, I'm so screwed. He killed himself. Yeah, he did. Just 30 seconds. Get it done. One sniping on C. Watch your left there. Oh, just stay strong. Don't die. There's one, he's weak. Climb right there. Oh, gosh. Ooh. Oh, no. Look at that score. I got tethered in the corner. Oh, if I would have got Zach, he tethered me at the end there. If I would have killed him, we would have won. Got me with that tether kill. <laughs> oh, what a game though. Bro, <coughs> climb? Holy shit.